tipped workers will soon see a large increase in their minimum wage, but tonight business owners are warning it will cost all of us a lot more. Our Brandon Lewis is live in our Capitol Newsroom now to break down today's decision, and not everybody's happy about this, are they, Brandon? Uh, no, Liz, not everyone's happy indeed. The Labor Department announced plans to raise minimum wage for tipped workers by 50 percent. That brings their pay to $7.50 an hour before tips, and the decision isn't sitting well for some business owners. A Schenectady pizza shop says they will have to cut back on workers when this takes effect in December. The move was heralded, though, by some tipped employees who will make about 20 extra dollars a day on an eight-hour shift. The State Business Council says that money will end up coming from consumers, adding most tipped employees rarely make minimum wage. Many smaller, especially smaller restaurants, um, run on very, very thin margins, and um, certainly they're going to have to make some adjustments either to their staff or how they alloc or, or their food prices. I mean, the, the customers may end up paying it. Um, so, yeah, I think the uh, impact would be relatively immediate. People think that the, 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 uh, the money is going to come out of profits. They're, they're wrong. It's going to have to come out of, of everyone's pocket in order to support the higher costs and wages. Now, the increase takes effect December 31st. Unlike traditional minimum wage increases, which are usually staggered, this will happen all at once. Today, the state labor religion coalition says it hopes this will lead eventually to a full elimination of that separate minimum wage for tipped workers and an overall $15 minimum wage statewide. We're live in the Capitol Newsroom. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.